On this week's freaking news, how much money do you think you need to have to buy all 2023 LEGO sets? We talk about Ninjago and these mini sets that are coming out, and Fortnite as they continue to expand. All that and more on this week's freaking news. Hey everybody, welcome back to Back to Brick. I'm your host Garrett, and this is the podcast where we talk with fellow AFOLs and talk about their LEGO designs, and we get down to the breaking news to talk about all things LEGOs I'm up to for the past week. Thank you for tuning into the podcast or the YouTube video or whatever you're watching or doing, and I, I love that you're here learning about LEGO and what's happening in the LEGO community. It is the last episode before the new year, so I'm really excited as we wrap up 2023 and ramp up into 2024, as there's so much to expect, so many cool things that I, I can't wait to be doing for myself, as well as just seeing what the LEGO community is doing. If you want to support the podcast, you can help by going to our Patreon page and becoming a patron. You'll get the podcast episodes early. You'll get to see some of the uh, designs that I've done that I put out there, community building. And it, it's just a great way to uh, also just support a Lego brand like Back to Brick. We have great merch that I just talked about. We also have no um, uh, ads in the podcast, so that's another plus. So you don't have to listen to any more people talking other than just learning about the Lego news. So this week, I'm really excited to talk about all the things as we talk about our top five stories from this past year. And of course, what's leading up into the beginning of the 2024 season of Lego. Now for admin wise, I finally finished one of my commissions, but I picked up a couple more. Really excited to continue to do that. As I've said before, if you're interested in a commission, having something built, I just finished someone's home for their husband for their uh, Christmas gift. So definitely a really wonderful time to have something designed that you want that maybe Lego hasn't built yet. We're continuing to look for jobs ourselves as we go into the new year, and I don't know. I really want to stick with this as much as I can, find a way to make this something that I can do as my long-term job, building, designing Lego, talking about it, just and interacting with Lego in any other way. It's, it's just so much fun. So I'd love to work on some collaborations with a bunch of other designers, not only with Lego, but other areas to, to really integrate it all together. But that's our admin for today. We are going to talk about set 80111, the Lunar New Year Parade. So stick around after the episode to hear that. All right, let's get into the breaking news. Now it's post Christmas, but Amazon is still going to give you a lot of discounts, it seems, on Lego sets that they have in stock. And I mean, we're not talking huge discounts, but enough that it might interest you to go over there and check out and see what they have on discount. Some things specifically like the bonsai tree is now $40 instead of $50. The Avatar uh, Turok Maktal uh, set was 160, excuse me, $150. Now it's $120. So there's definitely some savings, nothing drastic, but enough that if there's sets that you want that might be retiring, they could also be there as a lot of those sets are already sold out on lego.com. So this could give you the opportunity to get those prior to them completely selling out or going skyrocket in price. I bet they already are, but hey, this is the time to still try to check that out and see if you can get them. Well, it's the start of the new year, which means January 1st is going to be a full day of new LEGO sets coming out. So come Monday, a lot of you probably will be in line to your stores or waiting till midnight as, I mean, it's the brand new year, so a lot of people watching the ball drop, but this one might be just having people in the queue waiting for lego.com to open up for them to purchase the new sets, which actually some of them have been seen in the wild already. My one friend, Steven, saw them in Walmart. So a lot of these sets might have already be out if you wanna go check it out. But um, some specific ones we'll call out here. The, the art is the Fauna Collection. I guess it's a new one with the Macaw Parrots. Brickheads, they have the Spring Festival mini, Mickey Mouse uh, Brickheads. And that also goes along with the um, Lunar New Year sets that we're gonna get. There's the, um, I think it's the family reunion dinner. And then we've got a bunch of other things. City itself has all of those um, new ones that we've talked about for their space theme, as well as all the standards that they do, the fire, the police, all of those. The uh, classic has their pets, the house, vehicle, and space. So it's all the just big packs of things. The three in one, which I think is a lot of people are anticipating getting is like the giraffe, the vintage camera, the roller skate with the pink wheels to it. Disney has the mini Ariel's castle and a couple of the other more friends style of it. Dreams has their five new sets that build onto the story as they go into season two. 
Duplos, of course, has a lot of different things, a lot of new characters, which I think is kind of cool because you can now build figures instead of just having the little figures itself. Friends has a, I mean, maybe 25 new sets coming out. The biggest one, of course, is the mansion, which is getting a lot of um, uh, media attention, specifically from other influencers, just based on the design of it and how they went about like getting the detail and having the, you know, the car come out, all that. Uh, botanical or the icon series only has the botanical set right now jurassic park or jurassic world has i think the best one is the dino fossil t-rex skull and the footprint i think is really really cool marvel has quite a few uh and specifically it's going to be the x-men ones that are going to be called out minecraft has a few others not, not much there si uh, minifigure series 6 uh, 25 excuse me has their six pack and regular coming out so you can get those and get the goat monkey kid has a few ninjago also has a few the seasonal ones as i talked about the calendar sonic the hedgehog is getting one star wars is getting two smaller sets super mario has their three small sets technic has their mclaren coming out as their major one but all in all i mean that's a lot of sets that's going to be a kickoff to the new year pretty quickly here and ramping up to some of the bigger sets, of course, later in the year. Spring always is a little bit slower on the draw up until May, and then, I mean, they just pack them in. So look forward to seeing what people get on January 1st. I'm not really sure. I'm definitely going to stop in the store to see what there is. But I do have some money to spend, but I'm still saving it for that at, -AT. It's taking a lot of effort to not want to spend that money elsewhere. Another creation from the Brick Experiments channel on uh, YouTube has decided that they would create this really long snake-like motorized Lego train. So it's just a Lego motorized train with the main system dragging a long, long extension of wheels, but they're all varying in sizes as you know, a snake goes down farther uh, to a smaller size during the tail. It's over 200 wheels. And did you know that Lego is actually the largest producer of wheels in the world? Think like Michelin or uh, um, Firestone tires, but it's actually Lego. And having the 200 here, it's an uh, interesting video to watch as he controls it and has the snake-like function to it since uh, there's only the one steering system on the front car. So this kind of makes that snake-like function to the back of it. I'll post the YouTube video in the description below so you can go check that out and see just uh, a Lego train snake in action. Have you ever considered, you know, maybe you don't have all the Lego bricks that you need and you want to throw a party for a kid or an adult that loves Lego and thought, well, maybe there's a way that we can, you know, either rent out or somehow get all of those Lego bricks to the house at some point. And there's actually a company in Salt Lake City that decided, you know what, this might be a good way to have some party gifts. And um, well, I guess not party gifts, but a theme of having Lego. And they decided to do a Lego room on wheels, which has over 100,000 bricks that you can actually rent and play with for a party. Um, the owner, Andrew Gale and Corinne Gale, are owners of the Go, Bri Go Bricks, G-O-B-R-I-X. And you can rent these bricks, you can build uh, cars for racing, uh, they have tracks, minifigures, of course, and then different zip, uh, zip lining areas for uh, just building your imagination and creativity out of Lego. This is such a very unique idea. As you know, the party scene has very big themes. We've seen some of the cafes that they've done with Lego, but of course, everything else. So why not do this in Lego? And I think that that's a, a great opportunity to have people engage in their creativity without having to buy 100,000 Lego bricks. So apparently there's some people that are not happy with Lego Fortnite as there are some limitations. So a lot of people have taken to it to build some incredibly cool things. And, you know, it's similar to what they've done on Minecraft and building these massive um, either buildings or I've seen a Star Destroyer built in it. And it seems that there's a limit that some people are finding that um, one Redditor to post an image that they were building a Shogun's Castle. So a massive Japanese uh, style castle. And it just stopped. It wouldn't let him build anymore. It said there was a limit to how much they could build. And that's, and it seems to be, as a lot of users are saying, inconsistent that not everybody can finish, but some people can. And it's just, it doesn't make sense for a lot of people. I'm not sure why that they are uh, limited by this because Fortnite is about that building process and 
you know, people want to do this, these and the flying ones and cars and all that stuff. So hopefully there's a glitch there that they're going to fix so that the limitation isn't going to be held for all these people because that's the whole point of Fortnite to continue to create and build these really cool creations. Lego Icons is coming out with a second set. I only said they came out with their um, botanical series, the um, the roses, um, and but they are coming out with the Icons Retro Food Truck, which is set 40681 as a gift with purchase. Now this was leaked around the time of the release of the new modular set for the museum. And the difference is the museum usually comes out on January 1st, uh, or the uh, modulars on January 1st, but it came out December 1st, which is brand new, a whole month ahead of time. So I'm wondering if this gift of purchase was supposed to be for that, but it wasn't ready because I guess they had just shifted it a whole month early to see maybe what the market would do. And I think that probably going to do that from now on instead of January 1st. But it, it looks to be about 310 pieces. It comes with two minifigures and apparently one minifigure. Haircut's a little interesting. A lot of people call, called out that the Lego Barbers did not do a great job for this minifigure's hair. Uh, the, the truck itself has a nice awning uh, opening so you can get uh, some buy your hot dogs. Uh, and there's a little station on the back where you can get your sauces. It's, it's very cool. I, I do like it a lot. Um, it's likely to come out from the 1st through the 15th of January. Not sure on how much you'd have to spend. I'm going to guess at least $150 to $200 to get this as a gift of purchase. But that might be pretty easy as there's so many new sets coming out January 1st, you won't even consider how much you're spending. Not only are there sales on Amazon, but Lego is also doing their own sales. And it's their end of year sales, which means that, well... Anything on the end of the year that they still have a lot of stuff in and they want to get uh, the quantities down or they're already retiring and they still need to get rid of them, they're going to post them. And there are a lot. I mean, a couple, at least 100, maybe more, varying from 20% to 40%. Some larger sets, the Hulkbusters at 20%, wrong, it should be 40 The um, Black Panther bust is at 40%, still probably not enough to go down. And a lot of the other small ones, we're going to talk about one here uh, for our set review, which is one of the Lunar New Year sets. But this is definitely a good opportunity to get these sets at that discount before the end of the year. If you haven't purchased them and you just want to have the time or you now have some of the Christmas money to go and buy those sets. I'm going to post a link in the description so you can go and shop there, see all the sets and maybe purchase some through the link. Fortnite is updating to some other new things. Not only have they been, you know, trying to figure out that glitch and a couple of the other things, but now you can get more skins. Like I talked about last week, it seems we are already going to get these Star Wars classic skins. So you get the Han Solo, Leia from um, New Hope, all the different ones that you can think of. And through, uh, they're going to continue to update this through Fortnite at through the new year. And I mean, we already have 1,200 playable skins, so why not add even more? It looks like we're going to get um, some of the, uh, and it looks like those are going to be three uh, basic ones right now. Luke Skywalker's 1,500 V-Bucks, Han Solo's 1,500 V-Bucks, and Princess Leia Organa's 1,500 V-Bucks. The, uh, the new styles, we're going to see a lot more. I mean, Lego Star Wars minifigures, there's like 800 or something crazy. It's the most minifigures in any of the collections. So we're going to see a lot of these updates throughout 2024. There's a couple in England that love to build Lego and they've done it for a couple years now. Well, when I say a couple, probably a couple decades. And they've done some impressive builds before and specifically they like to put it in their living room. Uh, the, um, So Catherine Waitman and Mike Addis decide that they're going to build all these cool creations in their living room with as many bricks as possible. And this year, they spent 320 hours building a Lego phone booth. So the classic red phone booth you see in uh, London and all different places in Europe. I think it actually might just be in the UK and in London specifically. So back that up. That's Strike that reverse. That's what I meant. And it spent, um, they spent... 320 hours, as I said, from September all the way up until now with almost half a million Lego bricks that does have a rotary phone inside. I don't think you have to pay in Lego bricks for it, but uh, it's it's pretty fun and definitely something that they keep creating these large sets. And well, then they put it in their living room 
And it would be great if they were able to go and talk to, I don't know, Legoland and see if they could build some things for them or have these displayed because they are top notch and definitely fun and able to interact with anyone who wants to be in a Lego phone booth. There's some Lego Fortnite leaks about the latest weapons that will be coming to the game. We've seen a crossbow, a regular bow, and a stud shooter. Stud shooter I think is really unique because that's very iconic to Lego itself, so having that in the game would be really fun. And we're talking like the old school stud shooter with the little um, latch on the top that would shoot forward uh, the stud piece, but of course there are the new ones and maybe some others that they might do that don't shoot the studs, like the arrows don't really shoot very much. I think there's only a couple that actually do shoot, but there's the crossbow that Chewie uses. And so there's, there's definitely some options. And I think that'll be cool to continue to add and update these because there's so many different weapons or tools that Lego minifigures use that could be fun to use in Fortnite. There's a architecture firm in Paris called Cutwork that decided, well, you know, houses and buildings are pretty basic they can be built together with blocks so why not create them like lego block and there's some really cool designs that they've come up with where these blocks are all interconnected to build these um, apartment complexes or anything that uh, has that similar structure and what's cool is that they're interlocking similar to lego bricks and they have standard designs that you can switch out for in key areas inside but externally they're all the same so it all fits together just well and they, they really called that this could be a great function to explore um, using this for housing crisis around the world and having them constructed in a way that can be transported. So they're really cool. And some that they talk about what role can offsite modular construction play to help combat the global housing crisis across all terrains. What role can off, uh, excuse me, how can families and groups of four to six people in an emergency housing situation live together and maintain independence and personal space? And can solutions be designed to extend beyond the present conditions of housing crisis and to be used once more uh, homes are available? So this is, uh, I always love the creativity that Lego brings, not only to, of course, kids and people that want to build with Lego, but outside of that, similar to this architecture style in real world, which could impact people across the globe for them to have a home. And if they lose theirs or in crisis or just um, as the cities and areas expand. There's a new store called Get Bricked, and it's a brick and mortar store for Lego fans in the Tennessee area, specifically Johnson City. So this has just recently opened where you can buy new sets as well as used sets and just experience, you know, building and enjoying Lego with people who are patrons of the store as well as the owners. And it's really fun to see that uh, it's not only a dad that's built it, but him and his son have come together to build this really cool shop. They talk about we have multiple groups of regulars and they've been in four, uh, five, six, seven, and eight times since we've been open and buying something almost every time. He's a big, uh, uh, they've been a big fans for a while, almost 20 years of Lego building. So they decide, well, why not? Let's build a store, put it in our town and have just a fun experience, not only for ourselves, but others and provide those Lego sets to an area that I don't think has a Lego store. And they have, of course, some other Lego sets that are older so if you haven't been able to purchase those you can do them there always fun to see a new brick and mortar lego store uh, or certified i don't know if it's a certified store i don't know actually how know how you can sell those sets and i've talked to so many people about it maybe i'll get the answer one day but really cool if you're in the johnson city area in tennessee definitely a fun lego stop so brick heads are of course super popular and they continue to be sonic the hedgehog had his uh, as a brick heads just recently, and now there's gonna be two more. Looks like we're going to get Knuckles and Shadow, which are the latest minifigures that we've seen in the new sets coming out in 2024. So these will be in addition to that. I think they did Tails. I'm not sure. If not, that, that's a missed opportunity having uh, that alongside um, Sonic, but that just means that we might see it later on. And maybe we'll see Mr. Egghead riding in his um, one of his ships or just as Mr. Egghead. So look for those, probably be about $10 or a joint pack of $20 come the beginning of February timeframe. So it seems TT Games is expanding and as we've seen their success with Skywalker Saga, it looks like they're gonna do an expansive world for Harry Potter. Then on, I think they're actually already in the works on that, but then there's talks about what's their next one. 
it's probably Marvel and DC, we know, but there's been some like, you know, suggestions. Why don't we try something else? You know, Indiana Jones and maybe, uh, and somebody suggested even In Invincible would be an interesting play. A lot of violence in that, so I'm not really sure uh, about that part, but a great show. I'd love to see it in Lego form and see some Lego minifigures for that. But I think that they'll probably stick away from that. And it's likely that we'll see Harry Potter in the next two years and the DC ones in a more expansive universe style in the next four years. So the year of 2023, there are 918 sets sold. That's a very impressive number as it continues to grow. I mean, 10 years ago, we'd be looking at half that. So what do you think the cost would be to purchase all of those sets? And someone on Bricka decided, well, let's figure that out. And it will cost you $29,351 to buy all the sets that were just released in 2023. Nothing that's still available, just the ones that are brand new. That's insane. And let's think about all the different numbers. And they broke it down that like every seven seconds, a Lego set is bought. Crazy numbers. I mean, think about that every seven seconds. So the amount of times we've been talking, so I think we usually have our podcast about 30 minutes. That's quite a lot of sets and I don't have a calculator in front of me to figure that out, but let's just call it a lot. The average Lego set costs $61.53. Pretty expensive. Lego Icons actually is the most expensive at the average of $177.70. And having just that amount of Lego sets <laughs> available is crazy. $29,000. I mean, if I was rich and I wanted every other set, every set, I would do that. I mean, maybe if I won uh, the jackpot for become a multimillionaire, maybe we consider doing some of that, but it'd definitely be theme wise for me and just ones that I really want to pick up. But having the average cost of $61, that's still pretty high, definitely for people that are trying to, you know, provide for their families that want to have Lego sets and for Christmas and it's uh it's hard it's hard to do and especially because a lot of people have seen that the set prices are like in the couple hundred dollars to start now instead of the lower values if you have thirty thousand dollars and you haven't bought any Lego sets this year this is the time go out and buy all of them before some of them well actually none of them will retire because they're well that's not true some of them will probably retire either way 30 grand. If you got it, you can buy all the 2023 sets. Lego Ninjago is a great theme and they've definitely expanded onto, you know, their larger cityscape style. But that doesn't mean that they can't expand elsewhere. And another thing that has been a big hit is miniature models, miniature architectural models. And well, why don't we bring that back to the modular style? Because they did that once, as I, I've talked about in the past couple of weeks for the modular series, this one is going to be for Ninjago. So it's the Micro Ninjago City, the first one we got to see. And it's probably about, I'd say, six to eight inches tall uh, and the similar style where it can be interconnected because it's not just that one. There's going to be four total ones. So we're going to see all four of the um, Ninjago series made into these. I'm not sure they're going to be exclusive for Ninjago purchases or they'll be gift with purchase or just a single purchase, which will be great because like the Disney Castle series, this could be an addition onto that, building those together. I'm not a huge Ninjago fan. I love the City series. I've never purchased any, but these I would purchase because they're not that big. They have that beautiful design that they do with Ninjago and it's a collection. So definitely a really cool thing to look forward to come probably February, March of this next year. Lego also has leaked a sorting hat for Harry Potter. Now it was rumored to be coming out already, but this is a larger scale uh, of the hat that will kind of be a display piece. But what I think is really interesting is it has a voice box where if you move it in certain ways, it'll give you uh, different sound effects. 31 to be exact. So sorting you into your house, talking. I wonder if it's a, you can talk to it. Not sure. I mean, it's the first of its kind that I can think of. So at the price is, I think, $80. Excuse me. The price, I think, is like $80. And for a set, that's about 500 pieces. That's quite a lot. But I mean, the first of its kind music or talking system, it's going to be hard not to have high prices like that. Definitely a really interesting set. I'd like to see it in action first before I consider purchasing something like that. 
All right, everyone, it's the end of the year, which means we're gonna talk about our five top stories of the year. And these ones are pretty big in the community and definitely impacted a lot of us in some ways and some just were uh, creative things that we didn't expect. Let's start with uh, number five is VIP to the Insiders program. So VIP, it was, it's been around for a very, very long time. Free program where you can go and have the uh, reward center, getting points for all the purchases that you do, trying to get double VIP points to, to up and get discounts on sets. And they transitioned to the Insiders program. And that's, I think they just wanted to do a rebrand as they're going to probably do some other things with it, maybe more exclusive sets. You're, I'm, I'm not sure. I think VIP did have a, a connotation of being elitist and that you had to pay for it, which for people that were just joining Lego didn't understand. And I think Insiders gives like a um, almost subscription based and uh, just being a part of the Lego community more. Number four is Dreams Series. Dreams was their newest line of creative uh, theming because it's the first time they've done a theme in a little while now. So that is uh, really creative ways that they've designed these sets, definitely taking on the cross function of not only building the sets, but having their TV show to it. And apparently it's been a really big success. We'll see what the numbers come out like for their sales numbers for it, but they continue to expand, likely to see it continue to grow as they do season two of the show and continue on from there. Number three is the BrickLink Hack. So not, not uh, I think it was like two months ago at this point, that l two or three months, the BrickLink's website got hacked and shut the whole system down for over a week at that point. And I mean, these are people's livelihoods who sell Lego bricks and sets through there. And, you know, that's a lot of profit that's lost um, for people like that, and especially around the holiday time frame. And then we also have people that can't buy their Lego bricks. Having this hack, you know, there's ransoms going out and it was kind of disappointing that it took so long to fix it and that they didn't have the security in place to, to ward off something like this because Lego has become so popular. We've seen a lot of people getting robbed, um, a lot of uh, just fake Lego being sold. And this, this is, that was pretty big. So I don't know what's going to happen. I know a lot of people have switched over to Brick Owl and I'm not sure if I will be. BrickLink has been just such a big staple. Just maybe increase your security a little bit. Number two is Fortnite. Lego Fortnite has been rumored for so long and having it finally come to fruition is amazing for everybody that was interested in not only Fortnite, but having Lego now integrated with Fortnite. And I mean, they broke so many different records for the amount of gameplay in one day, the continuation of people coming over to Fortnite and playing for the first time or uh, back when they haven't in a very long time. It's a great way to experience Lego again, not only uh, in the, like, the video games that Lego usually does, but now it integrates the building and the Fortnite aspect with Epic Games that a lot of people have already been playing. So this is, it's really cool, great job. And hopefully they continue to expand that in a way that really draws more people in and makes the creativity explode even more online. And the number one story for me is the collectible minifigure series boxes. Now Lego has decided to go away from their plastic bags for the collectible minifigure series. It's great. They want to be sustainable and have these cardboard boxes. Problem is no one can feel what the minifigures are. So it has just become a rampage of people ripping the boxes open, looking to see what it is, leaving the ones that they don't want. Ill-planned. Lego, you could have figured out something else. You have the paper bags that you're doing for the Lego sets themselves. If they're not up to, like, um, if they can be damaged really easily, okay, I understand. But there's so many other options, like Sun Chips bags are, are biodegradable, and they work well. So it just has become a big debacle. Don't know how they'll solve it in the next couple of years. We'll see. Um, hopefully they have a better solution for people that do want to collect the full series instead of just buying 80 to find the 10 or 12 that they need. Those are the top five stories. There are so many others, of course. You can go back and listen through all the other podcast episodes and see that the news, it continues to go weekly. That's why I'm still here because there's so much to talk about. I'd love to hear all the different stories from around the community as well as from Lego itself 
to see how the Lego world and community continues to expand and enjoy the toy that is Lego or construction, building blocks, all that, whatever you want to call it. It is a toy, but it's a, it's a creativity engine, a way to really inspire others. And that's your breaking news for the week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast, the YouTube channel, and join the Patreon. I'm going to kick off this new year as hard and as fast as I can. So stay tuned for some really fun things up and coming. It's just an amazing time to continue to build with Lego. 2024 has a lot of potential, I think, for the um, Back to Brick brand. So I really hope that you'll join and come along on the ride as I expand and try to do more and more things that just are, I think, along the lines of what I want to be doing for the rest of my life. So that's our news. We're going to jump right into our set review today. And today's set is the set 80111 Lunar New Year Parade. It's an 8 plus set at 1,653 pieces. You'll get 507 insider's points. And right now it is at 40% off. So it was originally $130 and is now at $78. It does have a rating of 41 people at four out of five stars. Now, last year was the year of the rabbit. So the primary character in this parade is the rabbit. So there are three total floats that you'll see. One is a, uh, a, a rabbit, of course, on the top. Uh, the first float that has some really intricate designs on the bottom for all, four, all three of them. But um, definitely focusing on the Chinese New Year and the style of celebration with a lot of gold, um, reds, and uh, turquoise coloring. The second one is a drum or the um, a big drum on the back end, as well as someone in the front kind of hitting the drum, setting the beat for the parade. And the third one is focused on Lego. So they've got a large scale one by two plate uh, that's blue, and then they have the classic dragon sitting there and a uh, conductor of the parade. And of course, there's a bunch of spectators walking around. So I mean, a total of, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 um, minifigures. And that's quite a lot for a set that this size. And at $78, that's a pretty good deal. These sets only come around or are made once a year. So after this sale is over, they're discontinued. You're not going to find them anymore. And having a, a cool design for a parade, this is... Uh, this is fun to do like in a Lego city if you have one to have these go down once a year as this year is the year of the dragon we're getting some other sets along different lines and that's what makes these creative having a parade they did this with the um, Disney 100th so this is um, this is just fun they have the minifigure that has the rabbit head to celebrate that year as well all in all great set Love the Chinese New Year sets. I think that they've done wonderful detailing and design for these. So highly recommend. There's a link in the description. You can purchase this and add it to your collection prior to the start of the new New Year of 2024. All right, everybody. That is our breaking news. And that is our set review. Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy New Year. And I'll see you in the New Year. And I'll leave you, as I always do, get creative, get out there, and go build something.